Flock of Morning Doves. Hi. Okay. Flock of Morning Doves bunch up on a dormant power line, bending it beneath their weight. Little scuffs break out. Miniature avian dramas raining down feathers. The road calls. So, owner, owner at the roadhouse and mom's old friend, Samuel. Samuel's out back by the smoker, flippi uh, flipping an enormous rack of ribs with his bare hands. He's bad at, been at it so long he barely feels the flames. Wipes his greasy mitts on his apron, then rushes over to give you a bear hug. There you are, kiddo. I was starting to think it, you'd forgotten about your old pal Samuel. I haven't seen you around so much since... Uh, so much... Uh, haven't seen you around much the last couple of months. Not since... Well, not since the funeral. Wait, he just has rainbow hair. I'm jealous. <laughs> Chatter allows you to immediately play another card. Ooh, like that feature. Yep, losing your mom left a giant hole... A giant-sized hole in this town, that's for sure. Everyone here has been so damn down. Wood myself. And the fact that business has been so slow around here lately, well, that doesn't help much either. Good to mourn, but let it go on too long, then it becomes a mope. That's not good. Not what your mom would have wanted. Been thinking. Bartow could really use a kickstart. A pick-me-up, if you will. I had a fun and dancing right here at the roadhouse to rejuvenate the town and hopefully bring every bring in some new customers. What do you think? Eh, do I need to do that? Let's do that. That's a good opening for the next one. I already spoke to Elias about organizing a show portion of the evening, and guess what? He's planning on doing a special performance. Didn't realize he knew how to play any instruments, but hey, that kid's full of surprises. I'm also going to be cooking up something special for the occasion, but oh, that reminds me. I think you can help me stock up on my secret ingredient. Round Ramina. There's this, uh, this one fella ferments his own vinegar. He used to cook with it when I lived out east. Case, taste can't be beat. Thanks, kiddo. Good to see you holding down the fort. I know it's hard, but we'll get through all this together. Samuel's jubilant disposition is infectious. He sends you on your way, but not before giving you another hug and handful of smoked ribs. He wants vinegar from Ramina. Ramina. Hi, this one. So you immediately play another card. Well, I, got a, I got a lot of circle lefts. Not so many triangle lefts. Do I want to get rid of one of these instead of one of these? I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I'll just get rid of this. You're about to leave. Where's Elias? You locate Elias by following the sound of a woodwind instrument. He's standing on a rock, performing for an empty field. You've never seen him use an instrument in his life. I need your help. Samuel told me, told you about the big event, right? I'm going to perform, but I'm not a musician. Okay. Well, double that up. Just keep doubling. Seriously, I only have this plastic re recorder. I can't go on stage with this. I'd die right there on the spot. If you find any instruments out on the road, please grab them for me. Not for free, of course. I'm good for it. <sighs> yeah, I like these special effects cards. I wish I had more of them sooner, almost. In the meantime, I'll just practice with this recorder. Worst case scenario, I believe in you. Uh, worst, worst case scenario, I believe in you, please. 
His behavior is unusual for Elias. This desperation for new experiences. Your promises alleviate his worries, at least for the moment. He wants a new instrument. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's probably just cycle and account accommodate for an account accommodate. I don't really want more than that. Eh, let's talk to her. Did I read this? Flock of morning doves bunch up on a dormant power line, bending it beneath their weight. Little scuffles break out, miniature avian dramas, raining down feathers, the road calls. Nadine is checking in with the caravaneers, kicking tires and preparing for the road ahead. If you ride with the caravan this time, it's the full route, no training wheels. Think you can handle that? I won't hold your hand. I can help around Vermina, but I've got to look out for everyone else, too. Okay. Well, now I don't have too much. Let's just dupe that. Hi, that's a new one. Clarify. It can be inserted between any valid match or played normally. Interesting. That's one way to do it. The road from Aldenhurst to Ramina is mountainous. Be prepared. I came by the store earlier. Not bad. If you keep this up, Barta might stay on the route after all. Believe it or not, I have faith in you. You made it to Aldenhurst your first time out. It's a promising start. Prepare. Choose which card from your deck you will draw next. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Reveals the other person's hand when played. Ooh, I need that. Yeah, she's got all the good cards now. You know, you are welcome to ride with us, but I won't lie and say the caravan but say the caravan is always the easiest route. Good for providing safety and expertise, but it's a long road. You'll get a good haul, but you'll be exhausted by the end. I'll get you there, but it's still on you to acquire the goods you need. She nods to herself as she gives your truck a once-over and continues with her inspections. Okay, so do I want prepare or observe? I'm going to grab observe. We're going to cycle it out for one of the triangle triangles. I don't have any more. Hmm, that's a toughie. Because I got this one, but Chatter lets me play another card immediately, which is actually really helpful. I could get rid of one of the Accommodates. Or I could go for Prepare. I'm going to go go for that. Being able to see the, the, my enemy's hand is... Okay, not an enemy, but still. Being able to see the other person's hand is actually really helpful. Ooh. Okay, so we are going to have to be back for the Roadhouse show. I understand these things. So there's Ramina, Old Ramay. Uh, Old Murray. There we go. Can someone explain this game to me, please? So, it's a light deck builder. None of the cards are, partic cards are particularly insane, comparatively. I if I could just skip this if I wanted to. I probably shouldn't. Uh, but still... But, so effectively, you're having conversations with people, and depending on what cards you're using and where, you can... Uh, you can... I guess kind of control the flow. There's either good or bad outcomes. And I guess it's kind of up to player skill and deck management to properly, like, prepare? I, I don't know how to describe it. It's... It's honestly pretty self-explanatory once you watch it for a little while. But it's a fairly unique beast, so it's kind of hard at the same time. It, I guess the closest would be Griftlands, but less difficult? Less punishing, maybe. Okay, so I think I'll just ride with a caravan for this one. I'm sure there's maybe a benefit to bypassing a lot of this stuff. And just kind of going your own way, but that would be silly. So let's not do it. May maybe. 
The streets are rowdy with celebration. Parents corral their children around dynamic sculptures. Old friends collide into spontaneous talks. Dog tails wag with the velocity of fan blades. It's always like this around here. Isabella is looking stressed from performing too many tasks. Though Isabella's store smells as good as always, she seems stressed, split between tasks that would keep multiple people busy. Oh, it's so lovely to have you back. Could you put those gloves on, please? My assistant didn't come in. Don't worry, I won't work you to death. I just need you to prepare an ice bath while I stir this mixture. Mixture. Okay, I don't have much here, which is a little spooky. Now we're good. Okay, let's do this one, see what she's got. She's got a lot of triangles. Kind of. How firm do you like your licorice? I don't add much for flour anymore. Too tough for on my teeth. Yes, this will be a good batch. I can tell. Soft, chewy. Almost closer to gelatin than licorice. Oh, so I can just... I can just see all of her previously existent cards. Well, ain't that handy. I wonder if I could actually just get a bunch of chatters and just play by myself. <laughs> it's so nice having you around the shop. Mar Marcus and I haven't been getting on lately. I think she's why people have been avoiding me. Oh, well, just think of it as one more reason to stop by and see me again soon. Marcus cares more for other wealthy pa patrons than the young artists who keep Pachenko alive. Helping out, helping Isabella out is always worthwhile learning opportunity, especially as one of mom's friends. Okay. Do we get to clarify? I guess I don't have a choice. I'm gonna cycle that one out. We're getting too many doubles here, but I don't have too much of a choice. Marcus, chatting with a group of artists. The streets are rowdy with celebration. Parents corral their children. Oh, right. I already read that. Marcus. There's an outdoor sh art show in the square with a well-to-do crowd in attendance. Your dusty attire raises eyebrows as you browse. Stopping to study an oil painting of an abandoned city, you're suddenly aware of being studied yourself. Don't mind me. I can't help but relish the sight of new faces around Pachenko. My name is Marques. And this lovely little show is all my doing. So, is that piece your favorite? Okay. So I can cycle that one out, but let's try this first. Okay, that's good. Let's see what her hand is. I'm gonna have to open it up so she can hit some circles. Well, it's a favorite of mine. Commissioned it myself, in fact. I'm impressed to pick this particular piece out of all the others. You must have a key eye, keen eye for art. Did you know it's an actual place? That's Hara, a grand old city, long since abandoned. Intriguing, yes? Hara holds special significance for the circle. Oh, you haven't heard of the circle. Your attire does suggest you've been spending your time under a rock. But no matter, you're here now. It's no accident. You see, I too have keen eyes for talents. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Hit that. Unfortunately, I do not have a whole lot of triangle cards, and I'm putting a lot of the onus on her, but still. The Circle is a discreet group of fellow visionaries who understand the importance of art. We are what set Pachenko apart from lesser towns. No art means no vision, no future. Those are the makings of a dead, sterile civilization. Just like Hara here. You agree, don't you? Yes, I can tell. The idea of a city being entirely abandoned is wild to me. I have a good feeling about you. I don't mind saying you remind me of an old friend, and the circle's always looking for new friends. I don't have much, so I'm gonna just pop that. 
she'll be able to connect pretty easily. There we go. Let's see the rest of her hand. Good stuff. We got it. Alas, I really must be running along now, but please have some wine considered a welcome gift. Don't be shy. I always provide far more than my guests can drink. No need to thank me now. I'm sure we'll talk again soon, won't we? Marquez seems to know more than she lets on, but she wasn't kidding about the wine. The crate of wet red wine is almost too heavy for you to carry back to your truck. See, there are a bunch of ghost towns in Oregon. Huh. Well, maybe when things aren't so... I'm not going to say dire, uh, but when things aren't locked down, maybe Shell and I will start doing some um, some basic road trips just to look around a little bit. Because I'd, I'd love to. I haven't really been outside of uh, Portland much. You approach a welcoming rest stop off the side of the road. Travelers sit around sharing stories. Join him for a spell. Oh. Choose a card to gain a single-use accord. One woman entrances the group with a story of massive dust storm outside Clifton. You listen and learn, preparing for the road ahead. Created when you and the other person play the same thing. Got it. Oh, I clicked on it. It's single use, yeah? I could use, either use it on fatigue. So it doesn't hurt me as much. Because I don't want to put it on the free plate. Oh, you mean put it on this one? Or this one? I think I'm going to put it on the fatigue. Because it's single use. If it was permanent use, I'd use it more often. On this visit, there's more time to observe the distant beauty around Clifton. The rows of sheer cliff faces. Unless it's a reusable single use where, like, you can only use it once per match. But even then... I don't really know if that's how it works. And fatigue is just good if you had a shield before using fatigue. That's what I was thinking. That if I already had a cord, I use fatigue, which would screw me over potentially twice. But that way I can effectively freely dump fatigue. Okay. On this visit, there's more time to observe the distant beauty around Clifton. The rows of sheer cliff faces, portraits of sedimentation built through centuries, must be why so many rooftops here have chairs and tables. Klaus is inviting people to sample her wares. Curious Spider. Of all the merchants in Clifton, Klaus runs the only entirely empty stall that nonetheless remains open for business. From appearances alone, it's not clear what business, what that business is. Confused tourists can scan the stall and walk on. It appears you ha your travelers have been prosperous. Congratulations to you. It's good to see you thrive. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of rusted, roasted nuts, supply issues, and so on. Nothing to be done about it in these times. Okay. So, Chatter lets me play another card immediately. Let's just reveal her hand for the time being. So she's got a lot of triangle-related bits, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. I cannot convert from triangle to circle particularly well, and that's actually something I need to work on. What's this you have? Licorice reminds me of absinthe when prepared with a sugar cube. The wonders of this world never cease to be sure. You know, Clifton isn't my home. I travel much like yourself. Okay, I can now convert. Which is good, because I think we need it. Well, I have the Accord. Let's just cycle. We'll lose one. It's no biggie. We get the Accord right back. 
I don't know what else she has, but if I put that down, we get triangles. Yeah, we're good. Do you find these places you go welcome? Oh, uh, do you find these places you go welcome you? Arms open. And always trust a smile. I've learned over and over. I've wondered. The more I mistrusted, was it my fault? But it often has nothing to do with you. Not personally. Remember that. But yeah, I honestly wouldn't mind road tripping more if I had the opportunity. Unfortunately, I spend a lot of my time streaming, so it's difficult to tear myself away to, like, really explore. This is a letdown, but still. One moment Klaus stands before you, alluding to troubles in Clifton. Or throughout the world, the next she vanishes. Klaus stole something from you. You snake! Alexis appears to have seen the theft, so I no longer have the licorice. After the theft, no one looks you in the eye. Idle merchants become busy as you pass. If you contracted contracted a disease, you approach a not merchant who hastily tries to close. Excuse me, stranger. I must break for lunch. Come back another time or, or don't. So cruel to a newcomer. Around Glifton, it's an ill omen to be stolen from. Your bad luck spreads. Superstitious, sure, but notice how others stare? Simply because we converse? I'm marked, at least for a time. By the way, I heard roasted nuts cure bad luck. I happen to be their foremost provider. Rough. Because I'm going to play this. Oh, good. That was good timing. Cashews? Almonds? Pecans? My poor naive friend? I have every nut that still grows in this dying world. Roasted to perfection. Nevertheless, if you seek the one who stole from you, I know she flees to Desert Oasis. It's a long road, seemingly endless, but Oasis... O waits at the end. A perfect reward. Okay, we're almost done on this one. Hopefully we can buy some nuts from him, at the very least. A predictable thief. Odd, isn't it? How does she make ends meet? Who knows? Take some nuts. You thank Alexis for all their help. If you believe them... Isn't it? Uh, if you believe them isn't important, it's clear they only share such information on the condition of gratitude. Us fled to the desert oasis. Okay. So. I have two cards to convert from circle to triangle, and only one from triangle to circle. Oh, no. I've got three. Okay, so I want to replace this one. Okay, so let's move on. So, I could... go after Desert Oasis. However, we would lose... the Thief. And I think that would put us badly off schedule. So I think I'm going to ignore it for now. Maybe we'll have a benefit for it, but we need to make it to Romina. An older woman reads a worn-out hardcover on a wooden bench. A couple races in... A couple races their bicycles down the lone dirt road. Everyone looks when the caravan passes. She's waiting in front of a tea table. Matilda sits 
in front of a tea table, legs crossed on a pillow. Her store is dark, shades drawn, dimly lit only by candles. She opens her eyes to invite you forward. You're here for matcha. How did I know? The leaves told me. <laughs> Would you like your fortune told? I'll walk you through the ritual. Just take a seat in front of your cup. Go ahead, drink. Leave only a little. Okay. Pop that one. And see what she's got. Okay, she's got a good mix. Easy to work with. Pop that forward, not that it really changes too much. Not currently, anyway. Isn't that warm? Sit for a moment, chill out, think about your future. All the potential paths ahead. And now, as promised, I'll read the leaves. Hold on, I don't recognize this symbol. Oh, I don't recognize this symbol. Gotta look this one up, sorry. This soundtrack is super chill. Wind, rain, lightning, thunder. Looks like you've got a bumpy ride coming up. A bumpy ride on a boat. Waves dancing along the water. Sounds like fun. Wave dancer. That redraws her, which is a bit of a pickle on my end. I don't have much to work with, so let's convert back. Uh, and then cycle my own hand. Not the best, but if she gives me another triangle, I can see what her hand is again. Well, that was fun. Oh, wait, right. We're done. Thanks for letting me tell you your future. Careful if you take the direct road to Bartow. It's rarely traveled and not maintained. Lots to think about after such pr predictions. At least you have some matcha to drink while you dwell, dwell over it. Okay, we gotta... Reconsider... Let's get rid of Clarify. I like the idea of Clarify, but it's not super helpful helpful for me, but being able to redraw whenever I want is actually quite nice. So beware the direct road to Bartow. So maybe on the way back, oh, beware this road to Bartow. So we have a new path though. All right, number one stop for class culture, class culture and pickles. Unfortunately, pickles are not, my best. Come across a roadhouse packed with tra travelers while a storm darkens the horizon. Uh, wait it out. Choose a card to gain chatter. It'll override existing effects. Ooh. Uh, best thing for me to give chatter? Let's give it to... Eh, uh, maybe not that one. Let's do that one. Yeah, make make your full chatter deck like you said you it'd be hilarious I just start dumping chatter triangles and just be like you can't stop me okay so we could go back to, to pseudo <sighs> we're probably gonna fail it again but you know what I'll try it to pseudo shouts advertisements in Alters Plaza cradling a glass jar under each arm turns out he has an impressive set of pipes each Pitch sends nearby babies into fits of tears and startles the birds out of out of their trees. Hear ye, hear ye! I've got a special today on pickled mystery. What is it? Who knows? But it's pickled. So this guy's a bit of a spook, just because I'm not really prepped for him. Uh, well, I don't have much for it. I'll just give him that. All right, this lets me do my own thing. This lets me take another action immediately after. Like I said, I'm just going to take more actions than him and it should be okay. Come on, come up now, you look interested. What have I got in here? A batch of fermented fun, that's what. Don't ask questions. I source my vinegar from the Ramina Vineyards, which I own, family business. Most unfortunate brother runs it. Let's see what his hand is. So he's got not the best setup for me. What? Am I too loud? Nonsense. I gladly sing my pickle gospel from the rooftops. Okay, let's throw him a bone. Continue throwing him a bone. That gets me some stuff. Hell yeah. You're thinking, to pseudo, you control the vinegar and the pickles? Impossible. I control the last of Shell's Pad Thai. Thank you, Shell. 
But no Jeffs, no Japes. I'm the most powerful man in the world. I even blow the bottles. Every jar is my special child. Okay, I don't have much here, but easy win if I can get it. Uh, I'm just gonna blow that one. Puts me on a good, good path here. Don't have much here, so let's cycle those. That gets me a shield, and he gives me whatever. Elaborate. Inherits the right hand symbols from the previous card. Ooh. I like that one. That sounds incredibly helpful. Take some with you, the prize of Alters. Tell everyone about my unbeatable pickle potential. Maybe I pickled a pumpkin. Maybe I pickled a piccolo. And if I did, don't tell Aurora. She'd never forgive me. Ha! <laughs> You're fascinated by some of his more unique experiments. Explains how he came up with each one. Though the stories sound a little fake. Tasudo has a brother in Romina. Pickled Mysteries. Alright, let's grab this one. I'm just gonna cycle this one out. I don't really want to stock too much for blue yet, because most characters don't have it. Uh, but in this case, it seems useful. Okay. So the central plaza bustles with families out enjoying the weather, weavers and rug makers in their open-air workshops, and old folks old folks playing Crevar in the Shade. Barta only gets... I think I read that. I don't know. Aurora, hawkish owner of, the, of magnetic music. Let's give this a go. The wooden door leading to Aurora's music story sticks in the frame. A helpful sign hangs in the window. Give it a push. As you enter, Aurora looks up from the guitar saddle she's filing down to give you a quizzical once-over. Let me know if you have questions about the merchandise. I'm Aurora, the founder and sole owner. If you play any instruments, please take off that jacket. All those buttons and zippers scratch them to pieces. I wonder if we lost the shield on the fatigue. We probably did. Bit of a tragedy. Uh, Let's try elaborate. Let's see where that takes us. Hello. That's not what I was expecting, but I'm fine with that. Uh, so let's grab that one. That gets me another play. And this lets me see her hand. Unfortunately, we're going to bonk, but I think we have an accord. I made quite a few of these instruments. Go on, check out this viola. Light as a feather. Sometimes I even make my own molds. That viola is based off a design from my late mentor. I've got to ask. We met before. You look so familiar. Hm. Might be confusing you for one of my old students. You don't play guitar, do you? Do you? I'm sorry, it's just, it looks so awfully familiar, I can't quite place it. Okay, let's do that. I think that gets us an accord, too. Yes. Okay. Which is good, because I need it. Uh, let's go that. Which keeps, we're fine. And I can finish this conversation. Yeah! So even if I don't have the right cards, it doesn't matter. Let me put this vial in a case for you. Please be careful on your travels. Keep it very safe. Aurora carefully packs up the instrument, making you promise not to store it in a human location. She eyes your locket as you walk out the door, still trying to figure out why you look so familiar. And we have an instrument for Elias. Alright, ooh. Clarify, can be inserted anywhere. Hmm. I don't have much of a choice, though. I guess I can replace this one. Otherwise, let's do that. I'll stock a little bit of blue, just because it's a bit of a problem. All right, let's move on. I want to see... I want to go to Old Marae. We don't want to go to Bartow. Oh, no, we're going to Ramina. All right, that's fine. Home to a number of vineyards. Oh, there's a square as well. Samuel wants vinegar from here. Tasudo's rival brother lives here. Well, let's continue on. We get another fatigue, which is a problem. But that's okay. I've got a lot of supplies already, so I feel like this trip was successful no matter what. Gerudo. His demeanor is nearly as sour as his vinegar. Ramina lies among the hills, overlooking terrace vineyards and the coast far below. Packs of children... Oh, no, this the square is blue. Okay. Packs of children run across the crumbling limestone walls around the outer limits, pretending their sticks are ancient swords. You wander onto a farm whose door has a faded open sign, though it's difficult to tell if it's a business that welcomes visitors. 
You aren't local. Where are you from? Not a lot of folks around come from uh not a folks uh, not a lot of folks come around Romina. Welcome. It's a muddy road to old Murray. More than one truck has gotten stuck on that route. Okay, so I got a couple of I got a couple of tricks here. Not much though. You fool. I didn't invite you here, you know. I am not entirely sure what he's got. He's just gonna screw it all up, ain't he? Yep, he is. Who are you, anyway? Give it a rest. And that's it. Bitter brother, you walk away empty-handed. Relieved to be free of Haruto. Alright, and let's grab this one. It's an Inherit. It's pretty good. And let's replace that one there. Alright, well, after that bitter loss, I think I'm actually gonna call it here. I like this game. It's neat. The social foo, as somebody described it, but with cards, is kind of a neat way of handling it. It, it really does remind me of Griftlands, but you can't choose, like, less random, much more focused. I'm sure if you knew exactly what to expect, you could probably get, uh, you could almost ace every single one of these conversations. And I'm kind of curious what that would switch around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know... Yeah, Klaus fled. I didn't make it to the Oasis in time. I wouldn't have made it anyway. Uh, but yeah, it seems like there's there's a decent amount of variance here. And maybe it's not something that really matters too much, but I'm curious about all the different potential outcomes for every action. And obviously, it would be difficult to get that. I It's... I don't know. It's cool. I like it. I love deck builders, and it's so rare to find one that just strikes out entirely on its own. It's awkward to work with. But I think a lot of that is just the fact that it, it feels like a lot of conversations are adversarial instead of them actually working with me. But I think sometimes it just boils down to bad luck and happenstance. But it's a cool game. Anyway, uh, so I guess... Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely long enough. So I don't have to worry too much. I'm just getting real hungry and kind of tired. Uh, but I, I really, I really enjoy this game. And I really enjoyed this, this opportunity uh, to give it a shot. I honestly might even come back sooner than later. I'll probably start putting on polls when I try and figure out what I want to do next. Uh, but anywho, uh, so thank you Stride PR and Echo Dog for, for sponsoring this, this little stream. And yeah might play it sooner than later i'm gonna listen to the soundtrack that's the main thing i love just how ambient it is and i want to i want to listen to more of it tonight so that's what i'm gonna go do uh, so i guess with that thank you all so much for watching i'll see you next time